And we're back. And I didn't mean to click in this direction. Yes, the birdcage. Uh, yeah, my reflection. Okay. Okay, so now we should be playing this story from her perspective. Oh my, I have a feeling this is going to be creepy as hell. Alright. Because, well, down? What the hell? Um, whatever. So yeah, this is all blind now, finally, for you guys. You can see that... Well, whatever. A bureau. What do we have here? Oh. I have no daughters of my own. I hope you'll wear this, my wedding dress, when that happy day arrives for you. Mm, yeah. Oh, there is a birdcage. What the hell? Helen, thy beauty is to me like those Nishin barks of yore that gently o'er perfumed sea. What? Okay, old English. That I it's by Edgar Allan Poe, though. Well, it's going to be on the screen. You can read it. I'm going to skim it here. Huh. Okay. Oh, wait. Oh. Don't do it again. Do something different. Ah, no. So, is that Aegeus or whatever his name is? Hmm. dizzy, you must take a swallow of this. It will help mitigate the seizure. Also, I must counsel bed rest. Try to stay in as much as possible. Oops. Okay. I guess we just took some medication. Oh, dear Emily. Okay, I'm gonna read this one or try to. Oh, okay. Dear Emily, at long last, spring has come. Doctor says I am not to go out. He gives me... He gives careful instructions for my every... Uh, action? I don't know. This I find particularly dismaying. I keenly miss the days of my exuberant youth. Cousin Aegeus continues to treat me with perfect kindness and generosity. It must be difficult for him to maintain an invalid for so long. He himself suffers from an affliction of the nerves, and the strain of providing for me cannot be a small matter to him. He has been my closest companion all my life, and I feel such affection for him that the slight act of my writing his name can cause tears to fall. Your lovely friend. And I guess I have to finish this. Bernice. Okay. Now what? 
Uh, let's go this way. Yeah, look out the window. You don't even try the door yet. Wait, before we do that, let's see. Anything here? No. Oh, nope. Dang. Oh, I got on the bed. Someone's knocking. Wait, hold on, what's this? Oh. Uh, what is it? That's, what is that stuff called? Uh, Needlepoint? Or... Cross stitch? Or something? Hmm. Hello? Who's there? Good morning, miss. Morning. I thought I'd look in to see if you're feeling something better. My voice is a little deeper. Yes. Yes, thank you, Catherine. Oh. Yes, miss. Hmm. Catherine. I want to look at the tray. Can I look down? No. Oh, I can open the door now. Hold on a minute. Let's look to the right. There we go. Bedpan or something? I don't know. How about there? Okay, let's go. A little... Sorry, I'm adjusting there. Okay. Hmm. Oh, no, no, that's not what I want to do. This game drives me crazy when it does this stuff. It flips completely around when I'm trying to just look to the side. Oh. Is it this house? Let's see. Down to the right, that should be where he's at, right? This room, come for a stroll. Uh. He seems miles from here. Mm -hmm. Are you all right? I'm sorry. Switch places. No, I don't want to switch places. Okay, thank you. Berenice, will you marry me? No, say no. No. Aegeus. Oh, Aegeus. Of course I will. Oh, we're going to pass out. I. So we're showing the passage of time. Now this should be the wedding day, right? Is that a different one now? Can we look over here? He's made me very happy. Yes, yes. He's attempted to, anyways. Can't leave yet. Alright. Oh, just a minute. I'm looking around. I'll I find hope him. he hasn't asked me out of pity. I am, me too. I am too late. Miss Berenice, yes. you're soon to be married. Mm -hmm. Oh my, oh my. That was it. No, 
Certainly not. <laughs> Just came in to do that, huh? Hmm. I probably have to put the dress on, I assume. 